so funny i'm not allowed well, I, I learned that the uh, the stewardess call button is a class one felony to do that noise especially if you don't want nothing the folks in the airport all the time with the security guys hey come on Winslow, make a noise no uh, tsa stands for take stuff away <laughs> see i get scared on planes man it's payback time they scare me on the plane man <laughs> business class. <laughs> I'm an economy. <laughs> this thing come down the aisle. That lady drove me nuts, man. Rose up. <laughs> Here we go. Straight and level, let's talk about your first profile. No G-suit, no AGSM. All you're going to do is pull back on the stick, wait for 60% light loss, and then release the stick. <laughs> Any questions? No. All right, when you're ready for that profile, just go ahead and pull back on that stick. Keep it firm, pull back the whole time. The onset of G's right about now.
All right, resting G was 4.5. Describe your light loss. A uh, little tunneling. Okay. And how much did you lose? Uh, 60%. Okay. And you got it all back, right? Yes. Okay, good. All That's right. That's always a good thing. So, well, we'll talk on the other side. <laughs> Sounds good. Tell us, what it, tell us what the wizard looks like. Enjoy your trip. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm, I'm ready. All right. Sweet dreams. All right. How you feeling, sir? How you feeling? Oh. You with us yet? Whoa. Are, are, you, are yeah. you back to the land of the living? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Whoa. Just go ahead and stare at the red light. Put your head back on the headrest. You're going to love the video. T minus 90 seconds and counting. All systems are go. We're about 90 seconds from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery. T minus 60 seconds and counting. We are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for all the sequence start. Start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Scart. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 17 seconds and counting. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, remaining start. Start. 2, 1, Booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. seconds into the flight, and it's beginning to rev up. Standing by, full the throttle up call from Captain Steve Brook. Everything can go at the throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up, sir. You're a double link. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Lindsay. Lindsay joined on the flight deck by pilot Mark Kelly, flight engineer Lisa Nowak, and mission specialist Mike Fossum, mission specialists Pierce Seller, Stephanie Wilson, and Tomas Ryder of the European Space Agency down on the mid-deck. Ryder headed for six months on the International Space Station. One minute, 47 seconds into the flight, 22 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange, traveling 2,600 miles an hour, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Discovery's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to swivel, aiming the shuttle for its precise target in space for main engine cutoff. And we should have a good forward leg now on S-10. 
Hey, you sound good. Two minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, 39 miles in altitude for Discovery, 49 miles downrange, traveling 3,200 miles an hour. Discovery now flying on the singular power of its three liquid fuel main engines, those power plants draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's fuel tank. That call from Capcom Steve Frick indicating should we lose a main engine, we can make our trans-oceanic abort target at Marone, Spain, but all three main engines are humming along, along with the auxiliary power units and the three power-producing fuel cells. Booster officer here in Mission Control confirms three good main engines, Discovery straight as an arrow, speeding toward a date with the International Space Station on Thursday. Three and a half minutes into the flight, Discovery now 53 miles in altitude, 100 miles downrange, speeding along at a clip of more than 4,000 miles an hour. Discovery nearing the point of negative return where the shuttle would be too far downrange, too high in altitude to return to the launch site in the event of an engine failure. Do you know where you are? Yeah, now I do. Now you do? Tell me your Whoa. rank and last name, please. All right, what's your squadron? Uh, the right now 87. Okay. All right, crew chief's there to get you out. Good. That was weird. Yeah. Holy cow. That was ugly to watch, but... <laughs> was it? Yeah. I thought you made your own stick last yeah. week. You, came down, you came down pretty fast. Oh, really? <laughs> that, that was... Video, that was weird. Yeah, I'm all good.